This episode is brought to you by Coors Banquet. It's all fine. We'll do these later. Uh, yeah. No, no, we'll... All right. Yeah. <laughs> we can just see he has his guitar. Um, strokes? Yeah. Strokes? Yeah. Hell yeah. I love the strokes. Wow. You love the what? Um, the strokes. You you love I love the strokes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you want to... Well, let's see. I think we're starting. Oh, you got your own. You got your own. You got some more. We don't want you to yell. Love it, dovey again, like last time. Some people think they're always right. Alright. Was it quiet and uptight? <laughs> Some people think they're just so nice, 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 nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Have you ever performed a song in another language? Yes. Whoa. What was it? Uh, well, there's an outro to the song called Autumn Leaves. That's uh, in Spanish. Okay. Um, <laughs> I write in Spanish sometimes. Do you? Wow. Yeah. My love, I don't want you here. Is that what it says? Huh? My love, I don't want you here. Uh, my love is not here. My love is not here. Oh, wow. Good job. Three years of Spanish. There'll be no quiero. Ah, uh, that's true. No te quiero. No quiero. I don't know. Um, that's beautiful. Your voice is crazy. Like, it's like... Yeah, I mean, immediately I was like, whoa. Yeah, like, holy shit. Let's do it. <laughs> that's cool. It is a little... It's like, when we first started touring, um, this amazing band called Rainbow Kitten Surprise took yeah. us out mm -hmm. on the tour. We didn't have a manager or an agent or anything. Uh -huh. They just kind of like took a shot on us. And um, in the beginning of that, we uh, would just kind of like fuck around in the, in the green rooms. And Sam is from the Dominican Republic and uh -huh. he would sing these beautiful ballads on the piano. For sure. That was, that was always special. They're kind of like more of a pop, pop band, right? Yeah, like they're like, it's kind of hard. They're like in a world of their own. He's pretty profound, mm -hmm. lyricist, and, you know, moves in time in a way I haven't really experienced. In Physically. Like, yeah, just like, <laughs> <laughs> transcends it. I was like, trans dude, trans 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 and, and they like, do oh, too. They do like transcend a little bit. You know, yeah. they're, they're always a little dosing on something. I need to see this. Yeah, it's spicy. Basically. They're like, like, a, we're like about pop alternatives. Kind of, yeah, pop, future rounds is insane. You know, my speaking voice is the way the way it is, but like when I sing, you know, I sing from like the top of my chest. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like, if you use your diaphragm the right way, you know, you can get some boom and some yeah. rasp out of there. I don't know anything about that. But I know. Yeah. You can I'll learn try. how to do it. It's weird. <gasps> I just learned how to do it from like <laughs> trying to fucking cover people. Like when I was in high school, trying to like sing Ray Montaigne songs, uh -huh. you know, trying to sing like Van Morrison songs and yeah. just like, like, whoa. You know, I can kind of roar like that. Yeah. And Do you ever like move your jaw differently to get different angles of <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I always cock left. Uh, I don't oh, know really? what it is, but I, I have to rip left. Well, yeah. Damn, have you ever tried to rip right? So you haven't? I do try to rip right sometimes. What happens? Crack your it's voice. It's different. <laughs> I don't think it sounds Weird. different necessarily, but I'm like, damn. nah. Nah. That's coming from like your chest, so maybe there's like a certain. There's a, there's a little down. vein that's got to just go down. Nerve. Nerve. Yeah, it's the vagal wow. nerve. <laughs> just kidding. No, it's not. I just learned about that nerve. All right, it's super. That's the important. throw up one, right? Yeah, it's super important. Right. I just fucked my up the other day. That's why. And by the other day, I mean like two months. Your hammy? <laughs> <laughs> and my hammy. I'm injury prone, as you figured out. You can't it's catch hard. a beer with one hand either. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, I'm can. fucking blind, dude. I got smoke in my eyes. Yeah. We got quasars blasting us in the eyeballs. There's no way. Quasars. <laughs> yeah, quasars. There's no way. Yeah, everything working against me right now. Yeah. But you were talking, I do want to hear the rest of the story. You were saying before we started that uh, you called an audible on stage for some almost explosive. It was almost explosive. I'll tell you what, Marty, the gentle giant that he is, you yeah. know, he's like 6'4" big old boy playing bass, singing like a canary, but he's got the smallest bladder of anyone I've ever met in my entire life. And when, back when we were in the Sprinter, it was like every hour. And we're like, dog, you're not allowed to drink water yeah. you know, anymore. And we were on stage, I forget where it was, I feel like it was somewhere in California. 
I'm almost positive it was. And uh, sometimes I play solo songs during the set, sometimes not. I just like, we don't have set lists or anything. I just like call How do you decide out. on that then? Um, like QB just, style? Just vibe. Oh. You know, like I listen to yeah. people and like if they, like if they. In the audience? Mm -hmm. like if they're yelling loud enough on Yeah, the like if they're yelling loud enough in like Damn. the right way. That's good to know. I'm going to start yelling like, shit. We'll play it. You know, yeah. like if there's a group up in the rafters that's like tr tripping for Ohio. Yeah. You know, like whatever we're about to play. That's good to know. You know, like yeah. you got to give it that's to That's sick. Because then it just, it's infectious, man. Yeah, yeah they like, like that. Smart. You know, it's just like injects rowdiness into the concert. And yeah. then. All the fucking awkwardness of like trying to win something over is diffused, and you're just like there with them, you know. You ever had a mosh pit? Sick. Oh yeah. Oh really? Absolutely, dude. Our show in Oakland was berserk. Damn. Yeah. Oakland. That's Raiders. wild, dude. Back in the day too, like when we used to play shows without barricades or anything, I used to jump in. Yeah. And like play guitar on top of them. That's sick. But now that we have in ears, I made the mistake of doing that in my hometown. You know, jumped into the crowd with my in ears and just get ripped out of the back yeah. of my skull, you know, like oh. lose the pack, lose my oh. wallet. Oh shit. And just get back up on stage and just be like, yo, I Who need that wallet. <laughs> I need I know you want it. Take the cash. I need that ID, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I've <laughs> always thought that that was fake. When what? people jumped in crowds with their guitar because it looks so hard to be it's like real. strum in. Because I got the wireless like, pack. Like still playing. Yeah, so it's so gnarly. Yeah, and you, you, you're, you're, it's like, nah. You're just grabbing no. your arms. You're, you're just like, like messing it up. Mosh yeah. and cord. So did, it, did you get your wallet back? <laughs> I did get my wallet back. Really? And the in-ears and the pack. Wow. Uh, you know, as idea. vicious as the fans are, they're very um, affectionate. I feel like, yeah, you got a good fan yeah. base. They're, like, they're just, just, you know, they're superhuman. Just yeah. like, I, I think that's like what I love most about like, kind of the culture we've curated around sure. camp is it's not like super polished and it's not like we don't get up there and play the same set for a whole tour you know the lights are never the same the set's never going to be the same ever because mm -hmm. i can't remember them you know i just mm -hmm. like feel something start the set one way sometimes we start super quiet ramp it up the whole time yeah sometimes we come out with the heaters first bring it down and bring it back up you know yeah, yeah. And i think that people um sense that uh -huh. we're not scripted you know and like authentic and yeah, yeah. what is yeah. like you know we we rip just yeah. by feeling, feeling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah what do you think That's the sick. difference i've always been curious about the difference between like festivals and your own concert like say you're headlining mm -hmm. like the wiltmore or whatever that will turn will turn sorry how Wiltern. dare you first of all you're headlining Wilma in, sorry where is that billings or uh biltmore Wilma? Wilma? Whatever. Yeah, Wilmore. 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 Wilmore's house. Wilmore's the house. Wilmore. The, the, the Wilmore. Wilmore. The Wilmore. In LA. Okay, we'll cut that. Menu. Anyways, um, we're keeping all that. We're still... So you're 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 headlining the Wiltern, and you know your fans are going to be there, right? So you're like excited to play for them. They know what's coming. The home team. It, yeah, you're like, I, I can imagine the nerves aren't really there, but when you are going on stage for like a festival, you don't really. It's like a hot hodgepodge of Mm -hmm. random people that might it's, not even know who you are. It's the opposite for me. Really? Like, psychology wise. Oh. Like when we're at festivals, like they're not there for me. Yeah. I mean, they might be so there rock out harder. in my crowd, but like they're not there for just me, uh -huh. right? And so in that sense, like I feel like way more room to go like off the handle and try and win them over. Oh, I feel like yeah, 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 that's cool. Where Never thought of it that our way. crowd, you know, like I know that they are there for us yeah. so that they, they're wanting Certain Expect things, more. Yeah. you know, like they want certain aspects of our show. Yeah, and like, you know what to expect too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Interesting. And plus, like with festivals, like you know, I can walk around and be amongst the people. You know, yeah. and no one really knows who I am. Mm -hmm. like, but at our shows, you know, like we can't even can't really go to dinner or, like around the event. You know, people just grab you for pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like last night before the Wilson, I got grabbed. Mm, I'm taking chopsticks lifting a roll of sushi into my mouth and it asked for a picture and I'm just like that's so gnarly sure yeah <laughs> you know yeah sure you ever said no definitely yeah yeah like just not wrong time yeah. yeah I mean you know it's hard not to get jaded about some stuff yeah like as like as cool as it is to be like you know held in like reverence to these yeah. people like we're some you know some of these kids idols Sometimes it's just like you're 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 human, 
you need space. Yeah, like, totally. I just want to sit here, have Eat a beer, sushi. and just like have a sushi. Yeah. And like, don't, you know, photo me. don't photo me. You know? <laughs> yeah, Take a picture of the back yeah. of my head, yeah. my underwear hanging out the back of my pants. I don't give a <laughs> shit, but like, I would like to finish this meal in yeah. peace, you know? I definitely feel that. Mm-hmm. But for time. the most part, man, our fans are fucking <laughs> salt of the earth, like amazing people. And I like to think that's, you know, bred from the music. Mm-hmm. Just like, it's not, it's not, like, it's not, what am I trying to say? It's not, uh, it's not dolled up, you know? It's not like, mm, it's not phony. Yeah. So I don't think we breed phony fans. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Feel it. That makes sense. I mean, I think like you guys can probably assimilate assimilate that you know to your brand a little bit. Like, you make badass stuff. You're you're cool dudes. You're down to earth, down homies. And so I think the people that associate with you and you know, I think follow that same sort yeah, of pattern. the company yeah. you keep. You know, yeah, that's what you exactly. want. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Dang. So <laughs> you guys, you guys go show to show to show to show to one more. And how long does that last? Usually. You know, our last tour we hit a little heavier and our longest run was like two and a half months. Yeah, okay. I mean, a lot of tours very like caveman-esque, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Like we always talk about like when the bus pulls up, like what we must look out, look like when we crawl off it, you know? Cause we're all just like (laughs) hung over and you're like coming out and you're either either starving (laughs) or you gotta poop or you're desperately in need of a shower. Uh Almost always none of it's available. So you're just like, Pirates, yeah, you know, yeah. it's literally it's like a pirate ship. That's a sick. Lloyd's metaphor. just coming out like, yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 women just, yeah. <laughs> Tour bus is really a pirate ship, dude. It yeah. is, a, it is a pirate ship, damn. Because you know, there's no rules. Yeah, you know, like whatever we don't finish in the green room, you know, there's just bottles of stuff on yeah. the bus, and you can't sleep. You're just mm-hmm. tequila. So, so, have you been to all 50 states? Touring? Nope. Have you skipped a bunch? We've been through them, for yeah. sure. I've never been to Alaska, okay. which, you know, is sort of devastating for me. Yeah. Because I've put in it, you know, I've put that the essence of Alaska and the word yeah. in a few songs, and I always wanted to go there before I was 26, but I'm about to turn 28 and haven't made it, so. Damn, I'm about to turn 28. It's time. I have yeah, to. When's your birthday? 30. Of what? Right now? Right now. September? Oh, oh wait, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, thank cheers. you. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for having me. Birthday. Yeah, yeah. Of course. I'm October 12th. Course. He's November 6th. Yeah. So we're about Hell to. Oh, yeah. We're about to be April 6th. April 9th. Yeah. April 7th. April 8th. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it. That's crazy. That's all these years. I know. It's crazy. One day you'll get it. That's all right. He was early. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's way better than later. Yeah, he's more excited. Wow. Thank I got you. you Thank you. I got you. Thank Damn. You. What other problems um, did you have? But what I was getting at, sorry, uh, for the 50 states thing, was I, I just wanted to know like a crazy story from after playing and like where was basically the sickest place that you guys either went out or something gnarly happened. Man, I'll tell you one of the coolest experiences, like just full circle experiences like a day. You know, cause like the best, People always ask us that, you know, they're like, is Red Rocks the top? Is, yeah. is this the top? You know, whatever. Yeah. Like, Seattle is that Madison cool. Madison Square Garden. Right. <laughs> but dude, honestly, our best shows and some of our, like, the fucking highest times ever on the road are in an unsuspecting city where you know no one. Huh. And it just happens. And we were in Montreal last, or I guess two winters ago, and we had this great day. We get off the bus and it's raining snowflakes as big as quarters, you know, just like fluffy. In Montreal, so like, you know, a lot of things are in French and like there's just kind of this like, this this thing in the air, you know, it's it's so nice. Go to this guitar shop, pick up this sweet guitar, just like this crazy little Russian thing that looks like it was made out of the lining of a pool, you know. Uh Come back to the venue, it was like, it's like speckled, sparkly, like acrylic. Yeah. That's wild. It's like kind of peeling off the guitar. It looks like, yeah, yeah. you know, it looks like it mined like a hot tub in the 80s. That's sick. It's just a sexy Dirty. thing. Yeah. yeah. And we go to dinner. We got nice on some sake. And, you know, it was a nicer restaurant. So there's like older French couples like just staring us down. And yeah. we're just like <laughs> hooting and hollering, smashing bottles, yeah. you know. As you should. Go to the show. 
play the new guitar, absolutely electric set, and I just hand the guitar to my guitar tech and I walk straight off the front of the stage to the bar. And just with, yeah. with the people Fuck immediately. Yeah. It's awesome. And the boys came out and joined me and we're just like, you know, we're just doing shots. I had a French lady shove like a hundred, you know, whatever Canadian dollars are called, yeah. because she thought I was too skinny. She's <laughs> like, I'm eating fine. I, mean, I promise you, no like I just way. gorged on fish. And it was just like surreal. And then Damn. so many of the fans were French that I ended up like befriending this like 40 year old woman who was like kind of like translating things for me. And so, you know, like girls and fans and you know, like, all ages, all yeah. types are coming up to us. They want pictures, they like say a little piece. Some of them can speak English, some of them can't, you know, some it's broken English. And it would be funny, man. She would like translate for me. And like every like four fans, she'd just be like, you don't want to know. <laughs> you know, you don't want to know what you're saying. <laughs> and it's just like, it's magic. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. French, dude. So. So there's no best city. Yeah. It's just the time you have. Yeah. You yeah. Know? That's what I was looking for. It's like that. It's like that. Who's that cool? That, I think it's Chris Rock. You know, like a hot dog with your best friends is better than a steak with an asshole. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, for sure. Kind of that. That thing. Sick. It's all fun and games. Yeah, you guys ever do that? Like in college? Hot potato? potato? No. <laughs> that trout. <laughs> You shake up a beer. That's like trout. Uh, we put this game uh, trout. Yeah. And you just huck it until someone yeah, drops yeah, it and then yeah. they gotta pick it up and yeah. 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 We call that trout. That's where'd you go to so college? Fun. Just hop to it. No, where'd you go? Hop to university. Oh, where <laughs> where'd I go to college? Uh, we actually the whole band met at OU. Oh, uh, Ohio that's University. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so I'm just talking about our school. It was like it was not Alright, co college college drinks. Like, what did you roll into? What was your go to? What did you like roll into college and you, and that's like what you were drinking at the bar and you like thought it was super sick and you loved it? Uh, that's a great question. Rolled into college drinking Sailor Jerry's. All right. That's huge. Sailor Jerry's. Starting college. <laughs> Take your Zen. Take, wait, let's go back there. I know. Go I'm back there. To get go back there. there. That was a good place you were just in. Oh, that man. was the first blackout, brother. Think of me. Okay. Think of me. I'm I know you were there. I was there. Freshman year of college. I'm not gonna lie, I think it was just whatever was the cheapest whiskey I could find. Canadian you know, mist. Usually, Evan Williams was like a oh. local cheap shit. Sure. I liked it, personally. Mm -hmm. And then, Coke. <laughs> yeah. That's just a fucking whiskey coke. Dude, that's Doesn't mine. Get you fired up. That's mine. Can like, can three you ice cubes. Coke, dude. Dude, like, there was this vein that we struck in college where it was just like, what's doing, pimp, 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 pimp? <laughs> you know? Like, and you're just like, that's you so can't funny. even, like, stop yourself saying it. You know, like, you're just, just keeps ripping pimps. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ripping pimps. Pimp, 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 yeah. I can see that happening for us now. Oh, oh, we get on these things. We're just like, yeah. all it takes is pimp, one. Pimp, pimp. Yo, what up? <laughs> oh man. Iceberg Slim. I love that we're like I actually love that you're twenty you're the same age as us. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. We we can go back and think about different Rebel. things. Yeah. Whatever whatever it was. It's like we're all in the same what, yearbook. Speaking of <laughs> what was influencing you back in those days when you first started camp? Oh there it is. Mm. Same things I do now really. Okay. People around me Pimps. and all my pimps. All my pimps. No, seriously though. I mean, a, a lot of the songs I write have uh, actual heart and blood behind them. You know, yeah. get inspired by the people around me deeply. Yeah. My family, people I love, um, and nature. You know, um, obviously there's like it goes all sorts of directions. You know, because there's some songs that I write from like my heart and like my personal narrative but then there's songs that like you kind of you like take on a character like maybe something that you like long for or like want to feel you know like when I wrote All the Debts I Owe it was after the first time I went out to Idaho and got to fly fish in this beautiful town called Last Chance and where my cousin has lived now for like 10 years mm -hmm. and it, at that time in my life it just like struck me as profound and like beautiful and so I wrote a song about like robbing a bank and like you give your money to your honey and your kids and uh -huh. you tell her you'll meet her in Idaho and that's like kind of a way of saying like 
I'm not gonna make it, but like, here you go. Uh, yeah. I've never robbed a bank, yeah. but like, that's something that like, I think is like deep in me, intrinsically. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just like y'all trying to like, front up on a liquor store. Yeah, like, yeah. You, we all have that little, little bit of like, Heath Ledger in us, that's oh, like. Yeah. Uh, Imagination that gets you. Chaos, kind of, you know? That, yeah, that inspires, for sure. But, yeah, I think, um, I get inspired, I mean, it's, you know, it's an easy blanket statement, but, like, the, the things around me, yeah, you know, my friends, like, we're, we're very a part of each other. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's really Drab. cool, especially because uh, the way that we, we're not a band or anything, but we see ourselves as a band because we travel together and we come Sing up with creative... together on stage. <laughs> <We're> not, <laughs> <"Boom, bye." laughs> but we come up with, like, creative things. I mean, we're like the creative directors. Right? I mean, you started something together. Yeah. yeah. It was cool to watch you guys riff at the picnic table earlier. You know? Yeah, cool. It's just like, it's we a very... We spent so you know, much time yeah, being well, in front of each other. That's what it is, awesome. though. Yeah, that's yeah. all it takes. That's what it is. Yeah. And that's where the inspiration comes yeah. from. I mean, from stupid stuff. From I mean, there's stuff. nothing yeah. better than being like a group of friends where you know, like none of you, you know, no one calls each other by their first name and yeah. there's just yeah. like this like underbelly of a lingo yeah. yeah we're like if you're an outsider looking in you're like yeah they're crazy yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. they're absolutely dummies mm -hmm. but i mean my friends are the smartest dudes i know mm -hmm. yeah and none of us graduated yeah that's 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 awesome that's the way like i feel so similar similarly to that kind of inspiration because of what you were saying like we're not cowboys we've done a lot of cowboy stuff but that's because we're chasing that kind of uh, dream I guess and, and like what we make on our t-shirts and our hats and cowboy hats comes from a more of a childish wonder about what could be and what people could wear that would be fun and creative but also brings us back to like a historical route that we respect and um, I think that's similar with what you you may do and a lot of people do when they write music. And I think that's really cool for you as uh, an artist, you know? You just kind of like feel what you're feeling mm -hmm. and it comes out in songs that people love. It's, that's awesome. And you know, like, everybody's got, you know, a bloodhound in them. Yeah. And you, you put art out there, you put a brand out there, you put anything out there that's not authentic, you know? You can sniff it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck a few times. Wow. That sounds like That's the funnest insane. night of all time. Dude, the last, the last time we were there, I was in a fucking room with Bill Murray. Oh, Whoa, no. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That Shouts out to the greats. Yeah, wow. straight up. Um, and to my boy David Byrne for making it happen. Wow. But That's sick. I want to meet him. Like, and have him being in a room with him. <laughs> Bob Saget was there, dude. Oh, Are you wow. serious? So I swear to God. Bob name. Saget. Jeff, I smoked a joint with Jeff Ross, wow. Bob Saget, Jeff and walked into this tent. There was like... I was teary eyed, Misty. Walk into this tent and it's John Mayer, Bob Saget, and oh Bill Murray God. smoking cigars. That's a wow. full house. Dude, that's, that's a full house. <laughs> Get out of here, though. No. Boom! <laughs> everywhere you look, everywhere is a heart, is a heart. A hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look. Boom! 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 Crazy in a tent. Baby's blue bandana drives by in a pickup truck. Got a white stripe right down her side, tires on the mud. She is an officer of love, not obey her every word. She is an officer of love, not obey her every word. Stand up on my shoulders and tell me, darling, oh, can you see? Ten thousand holy rollers. Cigarettes tucked up in their sleeves, yo. Good Lord, she is an officer of love. Now obey her every word. She is an officer. Take a lovin' on the run Quite 
quite seriously And I'm wondering if she's got a gun Getting up that sleep This is one that it probably won't be a camp song, but it's just a little ripper I wrote because I've been listening to the Strokes a bunch. Oh, yeah. uh, so I could also do an Albert Hammond song if you want. Oh, uh, that sounds sick. Yeah, I'm down for that. Fuck yeah. it. Whatever you want. Win in a row. Just where we are right now. Waiting for romance Someone contacted me Lonely out on the streets There is a need to feel safe How do we get to this place? Here on my back I'm set to the tack I've come to take your hand That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Exactly. that's a great song. Yeah. But this is the kind of Strokes Ripper that I kind of wrote inspired yeah, by it. Um, and I want you to stay.
Yeah. 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 Thank you.